Hey guys, what is up? We're gonna do a hot topic haul and we're gonna do it a little differently. Um, I just have some funky fun earrings on in my Melody shirt. I'm gonna be going to the Dollar Tree, so I'm gonna be wearing a mask. That's why I don't have any lipstick or makeup on. Um, normally I like to put my makeup on when I pick up the boys, but because I'm in a time crunch, they get out early today at around 1.20, 1 1.30. 1 um, I need to get to get fast so that I can be back on time to pick them up. Plus, I'm drinking coffee, and I hate drinking coffee with lipstick on. So I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to actually show you the receipt, talk about the receipt, how much I paid for everything that I got. And you're like, hmm, what is this from? This is a Hot Topic haul. It is a huge haul. And I'm going to show you what I got. Vanilla coffee, which is so good. So... I used about nine hot cash and I still got hot cash back. This won't be good until 3, 3, 22. So I've got three of them here. I had about nine of these. So I had nine of these bad boys and I was able to use all nine of them. Now, some of you might not think this is a good deal. I think it's a good deal and I think it'll make more sense once I read off some of the prices. I'm not gonna read all of the prices for everything that I got, but I will read off some of the prices for the larger items that I got. So, I paid $138 for everything that I got. Originally, this whole entire purchase would have been $270. $270 and I paid before taxes it was $125. So before taxes it was $125 and it would have originally costed me $270. So if you really want to pause the video and do the math on what I got, you can. I'm not gonna go over everything, but um some of the earrings that I got, I got for half off. And I'm not going to go into the details of how hot cash works, but you get a certain amount of, of these hot cash. And for every $15 off a future purchase of $30 or more. So $15 off a future purchase of $30 or more. I'm not good at math. If you want to figure that out by pausing the video or doing whatever you want to do, go ahead. I'm just going to tell you the figures and the prices, you know? So for one of these earrings, it was $10.90 and I got them for five. And they are super cute strawberries with squirrels on them. And I really, really like them. So those were half off. And then for, like I said, I'm not going to go over everything. But again, I think these were half off as well. And these were $10.90 for five. So I really, really like these. These are super cute. And their jewelry is made really well. And I like the little, the little, you just put them in your ears. So I love fashion. And these ones were $8.90 and I got them, I know I got them for like four. Little peach earrings, super cute hooks. And then these ones were $7.90 and I don't know what the price was on these. But it was probably like half off. Using hot cash will save you a ton of money. So I'm going to show you this dress that I got. And I'm going to see if I can find it. So this is a really, really cute pastel pink dress with little strawberry milk cartons on it and little cows all over it. And it's got the little ruched sleeves, which is so cute with the lace. And the lace right here. And... It is a size large, and I love the detail up front. It's a nice little summer dress. This was $34.90. Let's see what I paid for it. So that dress was originally $34.90. I paid $17.15. I'm not going to try and show it. I mean, it's, it is here. Oh, what I wanted, I wanted to tell you guys something really quick. In one of my videos, I was talking about how you can restart your hobbies and do things new. Now, I, I'm an individual. I never follow what other people do. 
So I think it was misconstrued where somebody thought that I had said or maybe had the perception that I used to buy a lot of crafting supplies to keep up with the Joneses, to keep up with what everyone else was doing. I never did that. What I was talking about was I bought stuff from the Dollar Tree because it was a dollar and it was a good deal. And then that's how I ended up hoarding all of these crafting supplies and stickers. I didn't buy all that stuff to keep up with Sally and Sarah over in the corner. I bought it because it was a dollar. And sometimes when you go to the Dollar Tree or the 99 cent store, you go, you get into the mindset of, oh, it's a dollar. So it's a good deal. I should get it while I can. But I kind of stopped doing that now. And I kind of only get the things that I need. So I never tried to keep up with Sally and Sarah over in the corner. I always do my own thing. Uh, I like to be kind of an individual when it comes to certain things. I've dabbled in different communities, but not because it was by choice, but because that's what happens when you start doing stuff. So, you know, when you're into different hobbies, you're going to stumble across different communities in YouTube. There's so many communities on YouTube, from candle communities to true crime communities, to journaling communities, to coloring communities, to doll communities. And if you are a person who's very eclectic and does whatever they want, such as I, you're gonna be dabbling into all sorts of different communities, unbeknownst to yourself, and even unwittingly. Like, I didn't know there was a coloring community. I started showing my coloring books online. I'm like, there's a coloring community? Who would have thunk it? So. I never did any of those things to be the best, to be the most popular, to haul the, the greatest, newest things. I did it because it's a dollar and why not? And that's kind of a dangerous mindset to get into. You know, when you start buying stuff just because it's at the discount store and you're like, oh, I don't really need it, but it is a dollar. And you're like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? And if you're like, why are you buying all these sweaters? So this is a bag of happiness because I had a very good talk with one of the people that worked at Hot Topic and she said, I'm with you, buy the pastels now because in summertime it's gonna be on neons and bright colors. Uh, the pastels go out of fashion periodically so I stock up when I can. And I've said this so many times. But it's really, really true. Darkness and despair will be coming back to Hot Topic. Who knows when? But pastels do not stay on trend for very long. So currently I'm buying up a storm. This is one of the hoodies that I got. I'm trying to find the price on it. I don't know what the price. I might not be able to find the price on this one. Hmm. I hear it. Oh, here it is. So this was $49, $49, let's see what I actually paid for it. Pastel hoodie with a little B on it, very simple. I think it's really, really cute, I love it so much. Just very, very simple, so that was $49. Let's see if I could find it on here. Um, I have to pause the video if I really wanna find it. Let me pause it so I can actually show you. And I got that one for $24. So from 49 to $24, yeah. So that was a great deal. This one is really, really cute. It says Magical Girls on it. It's pink, it's a large, all of these are large. Love that so much. And then it has on here these light blue bows isn't that adorable and it's just plain in the back and then the other one is just like this so one is fancy and one is not and how much did i say this was maybe i didn't hmm. it's hard finding the prices on these pause it again this is funny so that was 49 i paid 24 for it so 24 dollars for this which i think is a really good deal um, I know most of the blouses were, this is 24, this blouse was 24, and 12.24, why is that? 
I got a Sanrio. That's interesting. That's interesting. Why was this one so cheap? So a lot of the t-shirts were between $12.24 and $14.24. So this shirt was $24.90 and I got it for $12.18. Not on the clearance rack. So yeah. This is cute. This was either $12 or $14. And originally it was 24 so that's really cute I love that and again this one is this the boba one this one I know for sure was 12 and it was originally 24 really really cute I love this it's so pretty these pants were $49 probably like anything that was 49 was i don't even see these ones on here okay so i have some exciting news had i not been doing this haul and had i not been sitting here looking at the receipt which i never ever do i got these for free i guess because all of two people were helping me there was two girls one was ringing stuff up and one was putting stuff in a bag and she missed these so $49 plus tax would have been 50 so I got a $50 pair of jogging pants for free because they were one like I said one was ringing up the stuff and one was putting it in the in the bag so what must have happened was she must have put these in the bag and she had already thought they were rung up but they weren't so these are really cute these are I feel kind of guilty. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it now. I'm not going to go back to the store. I don't have time to go back to the store today. But yeah, these are really, really cute tie-dyed sweatpants. And they are an official Sanrio license. Wow. And they have really cute pockets. I love them so much. But yeah, I feel a little guilty. Um, <laughs> I would not have known that if I had not been doing this haul. And it's actually really incredible. So the last shirt that I got was for $28. Let's see if it's on here. I got it for $14.13. Yeah. So like I said, before tax, it was $127. Our tax was $11.14. Our tax is expensive here in California. So, yeah, crazy. Absolutely crazy. So, yeah, the t-shirt was $28. Uh, I got it for, what did I say, $12? Yeah, it's right here. $24.90. Right there. $12 something. But, yeah, this is really, really cute. I love this. And again, it's a large. My nose is bothering me. Isn't that adorable? That is crazy. I still can't believe that I got those jogging pants for free. Joggers, jogging pants, whatever you want to call them. But yeah, that's insane. So, I saved about $100, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. You guys do the math. But I love everything I got. It was really a still of a deal. Um, and I know exactly how this happened. Because while she was ringing it up, she had a stack of stuff that she had already rung up. And she must have grabbed these by mistake. So that happened. I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree. I'm going to put my mask on, get to get, and put a sweater over this because I'm kind of cold. And I will see you guys in the next one. So I, if you've noticed, I have not been buying dolls. I'm kind of over Rainbow High. They have released six more dolls. And... I can't afford to be buying, you know, six dolls at the price point of $40. I'd rather get clothes. I'd rather um, get crafting supplies. I love the dolls, but they're going to have to absolutely be spectacular for me to buy Rainbow High dolls. Now, they're going to have to be, and they are spectacular. The, the Pacific Coast dolls that they came out with are phenomenal. They're beautiful. I love them. I'm only getting two. I cannot find Bella and Finn or whatever his name is, the boy doll that has pink hair. He hasn't come out yet. 
So I am really only getting the dolls that I love and have to have. They are releasing too many too fast and at too high a price point, these rainbow high dolls. And I'm just not about that life. It's too much. I did the math. I'd be spending about $240 for all of the dolls that I want. And I do like them and I, and I, and I would buy them if I had unlimited funds. But this girl does not have unlimited funds. So instead of buying, you know, dolls that are going to be sitting on my shelf, which I love. I do love my dolls. I bought clothes. Um, I can't do it all. I can't buy everything that I want. So I have to pick and choose. And I think I got a better deal buying clothes and whatever else I bought than the dolls. Because $240? Because think about it. People are like, oh, they're $32 for, for these Rainbow High dolls. Not with tax. With tax, they come out to $40. With tax here in California, they come out to $40, and I'm not about that life. So some of the LOL OMG dolls I might buy. There's two that I might buy, but they're at a $26 price point. They're doable, and they're just as cute. But the way that they're mass-producing all of these lines of Rainbow High dolls, I cannot afford that, and I don't want to afford it. And at that price point, you know, $240 for a bunch of dolls, um, I could get an American Girl doll for that price. Or, you know, it just, it's not, it's not reasonable for me to be purchasing all of those dolls. So, with that being said, I do spend a lot, but I do watch my pocketbook a little bit. And I am making wiser purchasing, um, purchasing purchases. <laughs> so, with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Hit that like button, subscribe. If I said it twice, it's twice as nice. Jump on the friendship bandwagon. We do a lot of fun things here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. I'm off to Dollar Tree.